giant pitcher plant is found only in the mountains of the Philippines and is capable of eating and digesting rats and other small rodents. To reproduce, an existing plant extends a stem to the ground, and once it touches the ground, a large head forms. This head inflates and opens, forming a large pitcher-like vase. This space then fills with water and mixes with the digestive enzymes at the bottom of the plant to form a venom-like substance within the pitcher. Depending on the type of pitcher plant, the venom and water substance can be poisonous. Insects and small rodents fall into this trap and are digested by the plant. Not much is known about the effects on humans simply because this species was recently discovered. The substance inside the pitcher can be potentially lethal to humans. Ebola is a virus that causes a disease called Ebola hemorrhagic fever. It got that name because it was first found in 19, 1976 via a river called Ebola in the old country of Zaire. This virus interferes with the blood vessel cells. As the blood vessel walls become damaged, multiple insects emerge, which cause multiple organ failures. In a few days, the person infected will die. The chances of dying when you get this virus are between 60 and 90 percent, and there is no known cure. This virus is found mainly in Central Africa and has killed thousands of people in the world. It reproduces very quickly in the blood vessel wall cells, burning, it, burning its DNA inside the cells and killing the infected cells, releasing hundreds of viruses from a unique cell. The poison dart frogs are a member of the family Dentrobatidae that are native to Central and South America. There are lots of different species of this family of frogs, but they have in common that all of them have a really strong kind of toxin that just 40 micrograms can kill a human. The frog got this name because some native people use the frog's toxin to poison the tips of blow darts. Most species are really small and the brighter the frog, the more poisonous it is. Poison dart frogs feed mostly in spiders and other small insects that they find at the forest. They capture their prey by using the long sticky tongue. During reproduction, male frogs go through a complex ritual to attract a mate. The males vocalize a loud true sound to attract females. The female lays it, its eggs in a lukewarm pool of water at the rim of leaves, where the eggs are safe and can grow until the birth. Malaria is a parasitic disease spread by mosquitoes. If an infected mosquito bites you, it releases the malaria parasite into your bloodstream. Unable to survive on its own, it burrows into a red blood cell to avoid detection by the defending white blood cells. Once inside the red blood cell, it begins to multiply, using all of the resources of the red blood cell to aid in division. Once at capacity, the blood cell bursts, allowing a whole bunch of new parasites to then invade the rest of the red blood cells and, in and eventually the body. There are several immunizations to protect against malaria, and it is completely curable if recognized early. Some people in Africa, for example, go a long time with no treatment, and that is what primarily kills them. Malaria kills around 1 million people per year and is considered a global health issue. Symptoms include abdominal pain, chills, fever, and dizziness. The Black Death, also known as bubonic fever, was one of the worst pandemics in human history. It was caused by the bacteria Yersinia pestis. The Black Plague affects the lymph nodes and is an infection that enters through the skin. It causes painful lymph, lymph swelling, chills, fever, and seizures. It can be treated by antibiotics, but if not treated, mortality rate is 85%. During the 14th century, this disease killed for about 75 million people inside Europe, which corresponds to one third of the population. The disease was reported to humans by trees and rats that came from India, India, Cyclones, and Indonesia. 
loss of the course of the this disease killed lots of people and spread very easily to the whole world.